Well, Indonesia is another country that could be facing a rising poverty rate. The country is one of Southeast Asia's best performing economies and has a growing middle class. But that may be under threat. As Andy Saputra reports, millions may fall back into poverty. This is Yayan's family business. He's been selling soup on the streets of Jakarta. Working seven days a week, he makes enough to provide for his wife and two young children back in the village. Thank God, business has been okay. I can't bring my family to Jakarta yet, but it's enough for them in the village. Yayan is a product of Indonesia's economic growth. His business, banking on a rising middle class with disposable income in the country, has been good enough to help him and his family to rise out of poverty. But because the Indonesian consuming class does not look or feel much like the middle class in developed nations who owns cars, houses and apartments and have access to formal social safety nets, they are prone to disaster, health problems or an economic blow, which in turn will affect people like Yayan. For Indonesia, the newly formed middle class are the ones who are most vulnerable to economic blows. That's why the challenge for the government is to ensure that the country's strength does not turn into a weakness. With the government planning to reduce the fuel subsidy, a definite necessity for the economy to grow, many here are worried that it will send these vulnerable people back to poverty, including Yayan. If fuel cost goes up, all the prices will go up. I'm afraid my customers will not have allowance to buy my soup. But the World Bank and the government are optimistic that with the amount saved from the subsidy that is eating away over 2% of the country's GDP, the impact can be softened. Indonesia could easily compensate the vulnerable, the really poor people in this country, uh, compensate them for all this first round effects, as economists call i.e. the increased price in, in the fuels and the inflation in food and all those things, in a way that would be more than satisfactory and still save billions of dollars. But this will only be possible if the government can ensure that these monies will not be lost to Indonesia's biggest problem, corruption. Andy Sputra, CCTV, Jakarta.